Hi gentlemen, this is Marishi on my channel Shulaga. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which wanted to come through for this week. We got the Ace of Cups as your first card, Ace of Swords in reverse. We got uh, the Alchemist in the center of the reading, Four of Swords, and the last card is the Four of Cups. There is a jumper. Uh, this card flew out, so Seven of Wands in reverse. Behind the deck is the Devil card in reverse. When I broke the deck, I can see the Five of Wands. When I was pulling out your cards, Gemini, the energy which I was getting was a lot of thinking. You're thinking a lot. Your head is overloaded with thoughts. How things should be. How how should I go about this? You know, so much. Even this five, uh, this makes a lot of sense as well. So much conflicting thoughts as well. How do I go about this? What should I do about this? What should I... You know, what should be my next move? You know, very much planning it out. Hmm? It's overloaded. Don't, uh, you know, there is a chance to short circuit. You know, fuse up. Anyways, moving on. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn person with the devil energy up here. Uh, you've got the Gemini energy. Some of you might be dealing with another Gemini person. You stressed out. When I broke the deck again, we, uh, I'm looking at the Nine of Swords. Very stressed out. Can't sleep. Just like I said, you're thinking so much how things should be. You're planning it out. You're planning it out. You just, uh, you're stressed out as well not able to sleep hmm? it's all in the head so much and even uh, around you there might be so much conflicts as well hmm. we've got the ace of cups and the ace of swords in reverse okay we've got the magician in the center someone really wants something but then uh, there is a negative influence in the way you get what you want. Does that make sense? Hmm? Because there is this player energy. Okay. It, it doesn't have to be a player energy. You being a little smarter. You want to be a smart person when it comes to your situation. You want to handle it well. Okay. You don't want to lose out. On anything okay so you want to be smart about it you want to be careful about how you execute things uh, right now there is so much uh, disappointments you're not liking it you are not liking your current situation whatever is being offered to you you just don't uh, you're not you're not satisfied okay because if you look at this ace of cups and the five uh, sorry the four of cups here it's the same cup which is being offered but you're looking away this is not enough wow this is not enough for you hmm? You're hoping for something else. The current situation doesn't work for you. Okay, there is so much going on. Okay, that uh, that is why uh, it makes sense because I started with the reading that you have so much going on in your head, and it's it's conflicting with me trying to pick it out one by one. Okay, but I'll try. Uh, you're very much focused on how things should be, okay? How things has to be. Because we are looking at two fours here. It's all about structure, okay? So you want something a certain way. And whatever you have is not enough, okay? It's not how it should be. It doesn't meet your criteria, okay? Okay? 
and you're researching how things can be fixed okay you're looking at what you have and then you are uh, assessing it and you're trying to walk around it There is also an energy about being selfish, being manipulative, uh, being manipulative, being selfish, being self-centered. You're not thinking about the other person, what, what they would feel about it. No. You're just thinking about what you want. And that is important. When I speak about the Ace of Swords in reverse and the selfishness which is involved, someone might be thinking about how to let go of something. Okay? Uh, yeah. They don't want to fight this anymore. When I said about so much, you know, even with the five wands up here and the scar which flew out, it's there is so much conflicts between the person whom you are involved with. It's not easy. It's not easy dealing with this relationship. Or whatever the situation is, it, it was never easy. There was constant conflicts. Constant arguments. Okay? Which was overwhelming actually. Which stressed you out. Okay, stressed you out, wondering how things will turn out eventually because I just saw the three of wands behind the nine of swords. So wondering how things will turn up eventually in this relationship. Some of you might be dealing with another Gemini as well or an Aries person. Aries Taurus, like a cusper probably. What else? These two cards are pretty much manipulative, okay? This uh, Magician and the Ace of Swords here in reverse. Very manipulative energy. Thinking only about yourself. Hmm? Doesn't want to think from another's point of view. Doesn't care about another's point of view. What they have to say. What they will feel about it. No. Hmm? Whatever you have, okay, because we started off with the Ace of Cups, is big enough, is good enough. But you, my friend, is not happy. Because what it comes with is not what you expected or is not enough for you actually. So you're playing around it. Okay, you're playing around it. It's almost like uh, you're willing to let go. Hmm? You're willing to let go. Even with the seven of wands here, you just don't want to um, deal with this anymore. With the devil's energy in reverse, you want to cut the cords. Which is very interesting, uh, Gemini. I might be speaking directly to the Gemini or the cross watcher. You know how it works, yeah? Someone really wants to cut the cords. You might have been very much attached with this person, okay? You were attracted to this person. You had a chemistry uh, between uh, the two of you. But here, you, there is the player tendency which is coming through. Hmm? Yes, Prince of Swords in reverse. Somebody is willing to cut, you know, slice uh, the chains which is bonding the two of you you want to liberate yourself and the way you're liberating yourself is like you know abruptly ending something wow hmm? because a cord cutting a cutting is like you know out of the blue you never expected this would happen but yet this person is like, this is it. This is not what I want. 
because this this person is very much unhappy and they literally uh, wanting to amicably get out of it does that make sense now hoping to amicably get out of it like you know uh, it's almost like uh, you want this like I want it and I will make you believe that you want it as well yeah manipulate like brainwash you that this is the best thing for both of us when it might be just the best thing for me I want you to make you believe is the best thing for you too yeah Yeah, someone, someone just wants to call it quits, okay? The wheel, someone wants to, you know, stop the wheel. It's like the ace of swords, okay? The prince of swords and the ace of swords, yeah? It's just slicing something. Slicing something which was beautiful, okay? Which was, which you were attached to. Now it's not working, so let's be done. Stopping the wheel. It's like stopping the clock. Taking the batteries off. And that's it. You know? Things have stopped between the two of us. Just because I pulled out the batteries. We're done. That kind of an energy. Yes. Yeah, six of swords in reverse. This card for me is like the Titanic which is sinking. Okay, which has already sunk. You cannot... Pull it out of the water and try to sail again in the same ship because there is a hole in the ship which is going to drown you as well as others so don't even try this is how this person wants it to be this person is going to be vocal about it actually that this is over whoever this magician is they're contemplating they're actually thinking of ways how I can easily get out of this situation. How can I easily let this person go out of my life? Not even go out, push them out of my life. Hmm? Because it's going to be tough for them to release from you. Again, because they are still, you know, under the devil's energy. Like, you know, it's a toxic uh, energy attachment. Okay, where uh, both people have to, you know, cut the cops. Here you're pushing them away. You're deciding to push them away. You are, you're literally telling them this is going nowhere. This is it for us. Yes, because you don't see a future with them. You don't see a stable, secure future with this person. That is why for you it is done. Hmm? Because it's not working out some reason it's not working out and you don't want to you know be in this constant fight anymore struggle being in this relationship because it has been difficult okay it has been stressing you out okay you've got the prince of cups and the ten of cups you had beautiful times together i cannot ignore that fact okay otherwise you wouldn't have been in this devil's energy now you're trying to cut the cords but once upon a time you were attached to each other you had this chemistry between the two of you which is very hard to ignore but now one person is like it's not working hmm? <sighs> they're kind of ashamed doing this they are kind of ashamed okay this is going to sound a little weird don't uh, go and strangle your partner yet but uh, the reason for them to stop or you know call it quits now or wanting to cut the cords right now is because um, they are heading towards something okay we have so, uh, we have seen the ten of pentacles in reverse so that part of the story with you is like it's over there i see a little um embarrassment okay being a little ashamed 
because this person is looking at a different picture which is much more appetizing okay which is much more happier for them and they're going towards it they're heading towards it and it is a third person not you okay Actually, I feel like I'm speaking directly to the Gemini here and uh, what is their plan? However, um, I feel like the Gemini person has a third party in their life and they're heading towards them. Okay, Or flip the, flip the characters around according to your story. Someone is heading towards something which is much more appetizing, which is much more beautiful and happier. They expect something which is much more happier Okay. And it has to be someone else. Celebrating life with someone else. Celebrate having a future with someone else, sorry. Ten of Cups with someone else. And I what is saying, okay? This decision. This decision of this magician. To cut the cords with their partner of a very long time, <clears throat> of a very long time, is going to make many people happy. It's going to make their family happy because there is going to be celebrations around this. And this person is actually ashamed. There's a strong vibe about being ashamed. That is why I say they want to amicably cut the cords. And try to make you believe this is the best thing for both of us. Mm? Just so that they feel less guilty mm? about moving on. Uh, I, I want to strongly stress, they just don't like being in this relationship anymore. Because it has been difficult, it, it was not going anywhere, it did not give them as much as they expected, okay? It always, uh, they wanted something much better. They really wanted something much better. Okay, this is going to be a little rude, but I'm just going to say it. Whoever the, was this magician, even if they are cutting the cords with you, okay? even if they were in a relationship with you, they had multiple people. They have multiple options. And they feel like you are not the one. And they are going with another option right now. they are going with another option because they don't see this working out with you they don't see this working out with you in the future they don't see having a family with you in the future that is a reason why yes they don't see um you know this is a dead situation for them this is a dead situation for them Oh, so much thinking in your in your reading. I should have guessed it when I picked up on the in the very first. Oh my God, it's stressing me out. It's it's just so many thoughts are going on, and I have to pick one by one to put it out. That's why I'm taking my own free time here. So much going on in your head. You're planning it out. You, you are planning to betray a person, okay? But you want to get out of it safely, <laughs> intact, yeah, in one piece. You're betraying them, but you literally want to, you know, you don't want to feel trapped doing this to them. But you have already made your decision. You have already, how much ever uncertain you are feeling, 
about how things are going to end up you have literally made your decision this is what you're going to do okay cutting the cords and you feel like um, they will be okay they will be able to um, resurrect themselves from this betrayal but the thing is it is stressing you out to do this to them okay how much ever uh, you know selfish and self-centered you are it is a little frightening for you to do that to them you're contemplating it okay then i show you the cast off i was looking at the ten of swords and reverse and the eight of swords okay literally clueless how things will turn out but you want to heal the situation hmm? desperately you stressed out you have been contemplating this for some time how to go about doing this to them the nine of wands in reverse you just don't want to look back hmm? you very very much uh, in this anticipatory mode what will happen what will come out of this three of pentacles and the justice the pool card i want to say you're scripting it up scripting how this will be served like you know you almost like uh, i get this energy that whew, you're so stressed out that you are literally uh, writing down what is the pros and cons of this relationship to be explained to the other person to convince them uh, we have to you know cut the cords we need to separate yeah so it's like literally uh, there might be other people also helping you out or you might be taking the advice of the other people okay how to do it justly there is no way you can do it justly okay there is no fair way to do this okay betrayal is betrayal after all okay i'm not trying to rub it in because this is somebody's story which needs to be spoken okay somebody is um uh wanting to start over again takes a fool uh wants to take the fool's approach again start over okay it's the card number zero here yeah it's new beginnings for that somebody really needs to uh you know do the right thing hmm? according to others this is the right thing does that make sense according to my friends and my family this is the right thing cut the cord with this person because this is never going to work out this is never going to manifest into the future this is not the right person to be with this is not the right person to be married with you have so much opinions thrown at you that you are starting to think this is the right thing hmm? and starting over again Initially also I picked up the energy that so many people are happy regards to your decision to be done with this person. Says the same thing here as well. Hmm? Yes, taking the fool's approach to, you know, breaking down the structure which you had. It's, it's not the normal right thing to do or the normal thing to do, but yet you are exploring that option. princess of swords and the prince of pentacles in reverse the person who is whom you're going to do this to is not an easy person to be convinced just like that it will take time because the person whom you're dealing with is very fierce and you know because we have seen this five wands already they are not somebody who will back down all that easily they are going to put up a fight okay they are very fierce fiery a little childish a little bitch like yeah uh, like yeah oh my god good luck okay 
is going to take time okay because this person if you are thinking about going about this amicably news for you is they are going to be aggressive huh? they're going to feel you screw them over what is the time 25 minutes i need to finish this off four of pentacles and reverse they are not going to take it e you know uh, take it nicely that they have to let go with the four of pentacles and reverse five cups they will try okay they will fight it out to make things uh you know uh, save it although you want to let it go okay let them go we will try to fight it to salvage whatever they can because they are still attached to you okay they are still attached to you the princess of cups they are still looking back at how things should uh, can be uh, you know turned around For them, it's like, this has happened, okay, fine, let's move on, let's try to make it work, that kind of energy. Because they still feel there is something in there between the two of you. It's just a phase that you want to separate yourself from them, but they, they are not convinced. They just think you're being stupid. Yeah. Because they really like you, they really wished for you okay uh, and if this is not going according to the plan they're going to work on it on what is not working out but yet i feel the last outcome as somebody who's walking away not looking back that is you when i keep saying you it doesn't have to be the gemini it could be the cross watcher so just you know flip the characters around according to your story i'm just speaking the story i wouldn't know who's who okay so one person is literally walking away how much ever the other person is wanting to make it work one person is deciding not wanting to look back anymore good luck it's no point me telling you to stick in a relationship where you feel the other partner is not good enough for you if you have so much ambitions okay in regards to your future and this person doesn't fit the bill then who am i to say yeah who am i to advise you because you're literally going to screw up their life if you live with them right so why not it's much better to have the you know enlightenment now and you know finish the chapter rather than getting married having children and realizing this is not what i want yeah i would have been better off with the other person tell you think over okay you still want to let go with the four of pentacles here you still want to let go of this this is the last reading so i'm taking my own spare time so just i i want to ask for an advice because i didn't feel um the right person to give you advice because i will bash you up so we don't want that but i asked the cards to give you an advice okay the card which i got was a five cups in reverse so whoever this advice is for cross washer or the gemini you lost something you disappointed get over it okay look on the brighter side of things just what i was saying what if you try to make it work what if you fight with this person and make them uh believe and reassess and uh, make them stick with you but when they have already made up the decision that you know you you are not good enough for them 
then it's uh, you know the mentality of that person is very clear okay you cannot juggle with your own life just to you know stick with the relationship which was working for some time and then it faded out what is the point of living with this person and being unhappy both of you being unhappy because you're not getting enough from this person right the best thing would be to let go yeah? and if if you do realize if they don't want you in in their life anymore let them be let them go because you don't want to live your life with a person who is who is going to screw up your life later on. I'm going to stop here. This is Marishi, my channel Shuloka and relax big. Bye bye.